Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm well, just going to go over disarming Megaton. the Megaton bomb I'm in order to down. get your player right. home here in Megaton. And I'm also going to go over the alternative, which is talking to RP, Mr. Burke Parker, and rigging the bomb Drive, to explode Bari, so that you can get your Baldi player Drake, home at Tenpenny Capital, Tower. So we'll go in first and we'll talk to Lucas Sims, the town sheriff, and we'll get the quest that we'll need. Well, I'll be damned. You're from that vault. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Okay, so we'll just get the Friendly quest here and by well talking mannered. to him. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Okay, so we'll just get right to it and talk to him about the bomb here. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Now, at this point, you can actually barter with him. So, depending on your speech, you can talk him into giving you 500 caps instead of the 100 caps. And even if your speech isn't that good, then give it a try. If you happen to fail, you can just reload your quick save coming into Megaton here, and you can go through this again and try it out again if you're just starting a new game and you need the extra caps. So I'll give it a try here. That's pretty steep. Uh, fine. Uh, do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though, or we'll all regret it. Okay, so then I'll just finish off the conversation here. Don't blow us up now. Yes. Don't fool around with that bomb unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so you do need the explosive skill what in order to do it. And what you want to do at this point, actually, before going and disarming the bomb, if you're going to disarm it, is you want to go to Mori Artis. And there you'll find Mr. Burke, and he'll make you an alternate proposition to disarming the bomb. And if you actually go along with Mr. Burke, you'll detonate the bomb and destroy Megaton here, but you'll get your player home in Tenpenny Tower by doing it. If you actually disarm the bomb for Sheriff Sims, then you'll get a player home here in Megaton. Now normally I don't detonate the bomb because you can actually access Tenpenny Tower later and even though you don't have the residence there you do have both locations so you have more shops and more people to interact with and the game is a lot more interesting with both locations. But I'll just go in here and just before I talk to Mr. Burke here, I'm actually going to, well, I'll talk to him first. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Okay, so I'm just going to talk to him here and listen to what he has to say. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, 
as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Okay, so I'm just going to refuse him right now. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. ADO. Okay, and I'm just going to save it right here. So I can actually show you both alternatives and the outcomes. So I'll just make it's a new Galaxy save. Now, what you can do at this point after you've spoken to Mr. Burke is you can go down and talk to the sheriff and tell him about what Mr. Burke has asked you. Now, if you do tell the sheriff, there is a chance that the sheriff can get killed as you're kind of doing this at a low level and Mr. Burke will actually have a hey conversation there. with the sheriff and he ends up shooting him in the back and I'll just show you here I'm gonna save quickly and then I'll tell him about Mr. Burke now you don't necessarily have to do this because it is kinda hard to keep the sheriff from getting killed when you're low level as you have to kind of keep Mr. Burke from shooting him in the back and kill Mr. Burke before he can shoot the sheriff and at a low level it is kind of hard to do but I'm just going to show you here you, you can go up and tell him ben. hey there and he said what oh I never did like the look of him good point come with me He'll You're about basically, to get an education in wasteland justice. He'll huh? basically ask us to follow him over to Moriarty's at this point, and he's going to confront Mr. Burke. Now, as I was saying, this is kind of hard if you're a low level from keeping the sheriff from getting killed during this because he'll try to arrest Mr. Burke and then Mr. Burke will shoot him in the back. Now if he does end up dying and you've told the sheriff without saving beforehand then what you want to do is use your quick save from entering into Moriarty's and then try and kill Mr. Burke before he has a chance to kill the sheriff so that you can actually complete the bomb quest and get your you residence. Burke, explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Like Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation, personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At I least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. Now draw your weapon. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. Stuff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Okay, now at this point when he stands, he's going to shoot the Sheriff in the back. Hey, so you want to try and kill him before he can kill I the can Sheriff. I can shoot him. Okay. Good. So I managed to kill him. I don't see the Sheriff here. He must be outside. So you can actually search him and take everything. Now again, if the sheriff did get shot in the back, then what you want to do is just reload your quick save when you came in here. But I'll just go out and 
don't see the sheriff out here. And I don't see him dead here. A traveler, eh? Okay. So let's see if we can find him. Because I didn't actually see him die. And I didn't see his corpse. There he is down there. Okay, so I did manage to keep the sheriff alive. And at this point now, you just want to go and disarm the bomb. Women and children of the earth, come forth to get now make sure that you have a high enough explosives Let those who dwell ability so that you will get the option to disarm the bomb. And you just want to disarm it and then go and talk to the sheriff again. I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide there. Okay. So we'll just... Okay, so I disarmed the bomb, but I don't see that there. Let me just get out of the conversation. You stay safe. And I'll talk to him again here. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Okay, so now you've got your player home and disarmed Later. the bomb. And you can get furnishings for your home from Mora, the shopkeep here in Megaton. I'll just bump up some of these skills here. And then I'll show you the player home. Okay, so we managed to actually confront Mr. Burke and save the sheriff as well as complete the quest here. And we got the player home. As well, I did do the speech check and got the 500 caps instead of the 100 caps. Now in the home, you'll find Wadsworth. And you can just go over to the shop and talk to Mora about getting furnishings here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just save it here and I'm going to load in the conversation with Mr. Burke and I'm actually going to detonate the bomb and then show you where to Seven. go afterwards Eight. in order to Wait. get your 10 penny residence. Five. Okay, oh. so we'll just talk to Mr. Oh. Burke here. Back again. Hmm? Perhaps you've reconsidered my offer. Okay, so with Mr. Burke, you can also do a speech check to get 500 caps for doing it for him. So I'm going to just do that. Well played. An extra 500 caps, in addition to the base fee when Megaton lies in ruins. Here's the fusion pulse charge. Place it in the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Any questions? Okay, so I'm just going to finish up the conversation. Don't let me keep you. Burke. Burke. Now, this is the only time that you actually meet Mr. Burke is at the beginning of the game. If you disarm the bomb, you'll find a residence here for him in Megaton, but you never actually meet him, and his residence is right over there. But I'm just going to go down and I'm going to rig the bomb to explode and then I'll show you where Tenpenny Tower is in order to get your reward and detonate the bomb as well as get your residence at Tenpenny Tower. So in this case you would rig the bomb to explode and then you're just going to fast travel 
to Vault 101. So I'm going to fast travel there. And then you're going to travel from here over to Tenpenny Tower. And you can do that just by heading up the road here. No, I'm actually using the sprint mod so that this makes it a bit faster. And once we get to the top of the hill here, we'll be able to see Tenpenny Tower. And we'll just head over and talk to Mr. Burke and Mr. Tenpenny there. Oh! Oh! Okay, so that's Tenpenny Tower over there, and we just have to get to Tenpenny Tower. So it's a bit of a hike at the start here, but we'll just head over and then I'll show you how to go through the conversation with Mr. Burke and Mr. Tenpenny there, and they'll actually blow up Megaton, and then I'll travel back to Megaton to show you what you'll find after it's been detonated. Now I don't really want to fight those raiders. I'll just kind of keep running here. So being low level you want to try and avoid monsters and stuff as you go over here in order to make the trip a little easier just kind of avoid them and just head straight for the tower here now you're bound to run into a few monsters on the way as well as raiders and such so just try to get past them and just keep heading for the tower there now you will get a fast travel point once you get there so I'll just use that in order to travel back to Megaton to show you the results of actually blowing up Megaton after we talk to Mr. Burke and Mr. Tenpenny here Okay, so we're actually passing quite a few locations as we're going along here, and if you wanted, you can save as you go along or anything like that, but I'm just going to head straight over to the Tenpenny Tower. So we're just about there, and then we'll have the conversation with Mr. Burke, and I'll show you the results of blowing up Tenpenny Tower here. Or, sorry, blowing up Megaton. Now, again, I don't really like doing this because you can still access Tenpenny Tower here. You really only blow up Megaton so that you can get the player home here. And you can just use the Megaton home in fast travel back and forth here and still access all of the merchants. Okay, so I won't bother talking to him, that's a whole other quest, but I'll just gain entrance here. So you'll just have to wait for this ghoul to have his conversation here, and if you wanted to get the quest off the ghoul, you can talk to him and he'll give you some information and then you can go in and actually get a quest for dealing with this ghoul. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours. All of you. Okay. So now you just want to talk here. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property.
What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. Okay, so we're here to see Mr. Burke. He's expecting you? Why didn't you say so right away? Just a moment. All right. Come on in. But I warn you, we're watching you. Okay, so we'll just head in and talk to Welcome Mr. Burke. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. And he said that he'll meet us here inside the tower. Okay. I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Okay. So I'm not really sure ah, hello. where I go to talk to him here. So we'll just head upstairs to the Tenpenny Suites. Now he's probably in Tenpenny's home here. I'm not here for your entertainment. Okay. So we'll just go in here. And I'm not sure if this is Mr. Tenpenny's room. No, I don't think it is. Now, I actually have never blown up Megaton. So, Hello? I'm not really sure, Found, I'm sure. where Even. to meet Mr. Burke here. Oh. Good to see you. Okay, that's to the ten penny lobby. Okay, we'll go back down to the lobby here for a moment. And I hey. think you actually have to huh? use this. Yeah, you go to the penthouse suite. Ah, yes, Mr. Burke is expecting you. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Okay. Mind yourself now. So we'll just go in, let the guard open the door, and we'll go out to the balcony here in order to talk to Mr. Burke and meet Mr. Tenpenny. Okay, so here we are, and we'll just talk to Mr. Burke. The pulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! Ah, oh, the anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes, it'll be brighter and brighter. Okay, so we'll just look out towards Megaton there, and we'll detonate the bomb. Okay, and Megaton has now been destroyed. another nuke we could detonate. You don't see that very often. I'm glad you're pleased. I had help, of course. Quite right. And you are to offer him the reward we discussed. Now, all this bright light and wind has given me quite a thirst. Where's now, that's Mr. Stop? Tenpenny there. He's I'll the one that actually employs Mr. Burke. Completed business with our friend here. Right out and be quick about it. I haven't been dry in years. I'd hate to start now. Okay. My God. What transcendent beauty. What purifying light. <clears throat> uh, allow me to collect myself, as I'm sure you're anxious to collect your payment. 
I have been asked to extend to you an invitation to reside at Tenpenny Tower. Here's the key and deed to your new master suite. It's on the top floor, first door on your right from the elevator. <laughs> Enjoy your new accommodations. Oh, and if you wish to spruce the place up a bit, speak with Lydia Montenegro in the boutique Le Chic. <laughs> okay, so we've received a thousand caps for blowing up Megaton, and now we've gotten the suite here. Okay, and you can find the suite just outside here on the top floor. Let's just find our way back out. Okay, so your suite is next to the elevator opposite Mr. Tenpenny's. And of course you just go down to the bottom floor and the boutique is to the left of the elevator. And here you'll find Godfrey, and he'll be your personal servant here. Alright, so that's what the results are if you disarm the bomb or you detonate the bomb and how to get either residence. And we'll just head back over to Megaton and I'll show you the results of detonating the bomb. So we're going to fast travel back to where Megaton was and it's now the Megaton ruins and there's nothing really left here and it's irradiated now from what I understand the actual shopkeeper Mora should be in the area still but she's now changed into a ghoul and I don't think we can actually access it right now but you'll just want to stay away from that area as it is quite irradiated and then go back to it later in the game and have a look around and you may find Mora the original shopkeeper here but she's turned into a ghoul. Now I'm not really sure but I did read that up in the past. I've just never actually done this and seen the seen Mora after actually exploding this. I've never actually exploded it either so this is kinda new to me too. But there's the results of detonating the bomb and I also showed you how to disarm the bomb in order to get one or the other residence. But like I said, I don't do this outcome because I'd rather have Megaton and Tenpenny Tower as you get to explore both areas and you have access to both areas throughout the game so you have more shops and more quests and such. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if there are any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.